when you go try to go more and more precision you go away from the accuracy hello guys good morning this is another talking episode so estimation is a one of the thing we have to do daily basis when we develop software and when we work on a development projects and this is something most of the time we hit wrong it's very rare we do the 100% accurate estimate and we hit that most of the time our estimations are like four times or five times off then what is the solution shall we multiply all the estimation by five times yeah we can but i bet you client will never accept the project and they will never even start the project so we are going to talk about how we can do the estimation there is no hard and fast rule about this different people doing in a different ways and i do different way maybe someone else doing a different way i'm going to share my experience and how i do it and but before we go there we have to understand what are the uh, biggest mistakes what are the common mistakes we do when we do the estimations okay here's the first thing when we say estimation it is a formal professional word for guess right so when i am giving estimation i'm just saying hey i'm going to guess this right it is not at a like perfect accurate 100% reliable date i'm going to guess this there are so many variables impacting on this guess so we can add the risk factors so those risk factors will impact on my guess so estimation is a guess i understand that most of people out there will not agree with me but it is what it is for me at least it's a guess so what are the biggest mistake we do when we create this when we create make that guess or when we create the estimation okay here's a thing let's say how long it take us to complete one rotation this is there's a question okay so we say 24 hours it is not wrong but it is not precisely accurate right 24 hours is not precisely accurate so you can say it's a 23 hours 56 minutes and 4 seconds that is precise and also accurate right it's a precise value also someone can come up with the value saying hey i think it is 22 hours 52 minutes 5 seconds uh, 20 mi- uh, milliseconds and 300 microseconds and also if you want 10 nanoseconds it's a most super extreme precise but wrong right it's wrong it's, it's not the right answer but it's very precise it's a very very point form precise so when we do the estimation we should not go after this precision we should not take try to get the estimation up to this day this hour this minute that precision i have seen people estimation for like okay 15 minutes work 20 minutes work and 10 minutes work no that is not practical because as a human being we have a attention span right so when we work on sometime we get distract we may need, we go to like uh, fill a water refill the water bottle and then we get meet someone we make we talk with that person and then we go somewhere else maybe go to have a coffee and so and so we have a, i mean this is a real this is a, this is our life so when we estimate do not try to go super precision right because sometime that will kill our estimation and will it will take your estimation way off than you expecting right so i would say go like 2 uh, hours or 2.5 hours is the minimum uh, kind of a thing you uh, like estimate uh, unless otherwise what you have to do is just to put a one full stop a uh, one comma or something like that yeah and then you don't have to estimate it so number one uh, mistake we do we are trying to hit the precision the second mistake we do we get one person maybe the architect or the lead and say hey this is your work and please estimate this that's completely wrong because what we accept is his point of view about the task that is not the realistic at all he may th- this may be terrain something he don't know he something terrain he not familiar with so when we get a one person and get the estimate that estimation way off not even four four times maybe it's a 10 times off estimation always has to prepared by a team like uh, maybe maybe it uh, like uh, four people five people but don't go take more than the five people then it like too many cooks uh, spoil the soup and then don't take less people like a two people then it just end up with the argument or agreement so take a five people or a four or five people is the right balance and then they have to estimate it it is not that 
one person's point of view about your task so that is the second mistake we do i was not looking myself on the camera so i didn't realize there is no enough uh, headroom okay anyway uh, third thing is third mistake we do is we take the development estimate and then we prepare the rest of the thing based on that we probably promising the client also okay hey you will get the system based on this so that is wrong why because there are tons of things to do plenty of work we need to get this to production deploy and let the client get the client to use right so we we not estim we not give the proper estimation for those and we just rely on the uh, production estimate or the development estimate and then we go and say hey let's add the uh, let's add this much of buffer i have seen those all the time get the development uh, estimate and add uh, like this much of buffer adding that buffer based on what what is your logic why you think it, this is the buffer of 10%, 20%, 50%? Okay, what is the base you came up with this number? No, that's wrong. So we have to estimate each and every phase of the of our project. Like for example, UAT. Okay, UAT also has to have a detailed estimation. How long you're going to test and how long for the bug fixes and how long. So then now is a problem. You don't know how many bugs will come, right? So without knowing that how many bugs would come, how you can say, hey, bug fixing time. So these are the real problems. That is where we need the past experience. So the third mistake, do not add just a buffer on top of what your estimation you get from the developers. That's completely wrong. The other mistake is the fourth one is when we come to the estimation review and when we question about okay why you need this much of time you're going to reduce the uh, estimated time like say for example you have some task you're saying hey i need four hours for this then suddenly ask okay why four hours what are you going to do with the four hours then you think and say stretch your head and ah no i can do it in the two hours no that is wrong right because which basis you are, are like reducing these two hours you initially thought it's a four hours now without any reasoning any justification you are saying no it's two hours so that is lose the uh, like confident about the estimation as well so what we ask is when someone question about the estimation you should be able to justify that not the reduce it if if in case they enforce into reduce let's say sometime we happen like this uh, things like this like let's say you have a 60 days of estimation but deadly client want this within the 30 days so there is no way you reduce your 30 days estimation uh, sorry 60 days estimation to 30 days and get it done what you can do is you need to reduce the task right okay we will hit the 30 day but i don't know what i'm going to give you so let's reduce the work like okay this has a five interfaces uh like okay we will implement two and the rest of the thing will be up, up, update the data or upload the data through the back end something like this go with the arrangement do not just reduce the estimation like like you are able to come up with a number the the biggest mistake we do the fifth mistake i'm going to count is you are trying to have a perfect design on the estimation so when you get the time to do the estimation, you are going to make the design perfect. Okay, I'm going to use the Kafka JS. No, 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 I'm going to use the Node Kafka. No, I'm not going to use, I'm going to use this uh, Kafka with the Spring. And then I'm going to use the Stream API. No, I'm going to use the Consume API, right? And okay, I'm going to use a uh, single partition topic. And no, I'm not going, I'm going to use, I, I need 10 partition topic or 20 partition topic. So do not try to have the perfect design in your mind to do the estimation. So because remember, estimation is always a guess. The what the point is how accurate you can guess this. So have just just a standard design, some sort of a Kafka client, and then you're going to use the consumer API, and then you're going to consume it, and sorry, you're going to produce it, and then other side they are going to consume it and store in the database. So it doesn't matter what the consumer is, what the library is, when to download, where to download, those things doesn't matter. If you're trying to go into that that precision, that's what I told. When you go try to go more and more precision, you go away from the accuracy. Right. So what most important in the estimation is the accuracy, but not the precision. So therefore, do not try to go with the in-depth, like for example, ORM. I'm going to use a type ORM or Prism, whatever, doesn't matter, right? Type, even, even doesn't matter whether you use an ORM framework or not, whether you use a bare SQL like insert statement, doesn't matter. What the matters is you are saving this record on the database. So that is how you should prepare the estimate. So now, we discussed five points, five biggest point mistakes we do when we prepare the estimation. So in the next video, I will try to help you by saying how I usually do in these type of estimations. So till that, stay safe, take care. I'm signing off.